Introduction to Amortization Calculation with an Adjustable Interest Rate Presented by Doug Bainbridge Why Use an Adjustable Rate? A primary reason to use an adjustable rate is if the borrower believes that a fixed rate will cost more in the long run. Here are some examples showing what the numbers can look like. The following pages will display how the numbers can look and I cannot overemphasize that there are many other scenarios to consider that are not presented in my short presentation. Before signing and agreeing to a transaction, it is critical that the borrower must understand the terms and confirm that the terms are affordable and doable. Ignoring these details can cause a lot of trouble. And now to the case studies. For all of the following case studies, I will apply the following assumptions. The loan will be amortized over 30 years. The annual interest rate will be incremented equally for the first six years, and then the sixth year rate will continue for the duration of the loan. The monthly payment will increment and be based on the interest rate for each period. You can see the video documentation I provided as an introduction to amortization calculation for the calculation method. And lastly, principal amount will be $100,000. Case study number one. Assumptions. Interest rate in first year is 4%. Interest rate will increment 1% annually in years two through six to end up at 9% for the remaining life of the loan. Below you can see the interest rates for the first six years. Ending in, as you see, years 6 through 30, where the annual interest rate will be set at 9%. Case study number one continued. First, the big picture. The sum of all 30 years interest payments is $169,805.92. The sum of all 30 years principal is of course the $100,000. And the sum of all monthly payments is $269,805.92. As you can see, there is a lot of interest paid. A mortgage can look and feel expensive, but if it is affordable and doable, and it provides a method to own a nice home to enjoy, it can be an ideal way to reach the goal of home ownership. An important detail. At first, the monthly payment is $477.42, but in year six and for the remaining life of the loan in this example, the payment is $780.13. So in just six years, the payment increases 63%. When considering an adjustable loan, it is important that the potential borrower considers all possible payment amounts in order to ensure that the loan is affordable for the long term. Case study number two, assumptions. Interest rate in the first year is 4%. Interest rate will increment 0.5% annually in years two through six to end up at 6.5 percent for the remaining life of the loan. Interest rates for the first six years are shown below where you can see starting at four percent in year one and then ending with years six through thirty at 6.5 percent annually. Case study number two continued. First the big picture Sum of all 30 years interest payments equals $118,055.59. Sum of all principal, of course, is 100000 And the sum of all monthly payments is $218,055.92. Incrementing by just 0.5% reduces the cost of this loan considerably relative to the previous example with the rate incrementing 1% per year for the first six years. An important detail. 
At first, the monthly payment is $477.42, but in year six and for the remaining life of the loan, the payment is $619.95. So in just six years, the payment increases 30%. Case study number three, fixed rate example. Assumptions and calculation. Interest rate throughout the life of this 30-year fixed rate mortgage is calculated so the total interest paid equals the total principal paid for the life of the loan. Interest rate calculated that does that is 5.30404% and note that this works for any level of principal. Case study number three, fixed rate example, continued. First, the big picture. Sum of all 30 years interest payments is 100,000 as mentioned in the assumptions and the principal is of course 100,000 so the sum of all monthly payments for the life of this loan is $200,000. So it takes a fixed rate as low as 5.30404% in order for the total of all interest payments to be equal to the principal amount in this case. This may seem like a lot, but when you consider the asset such as a home and the enjoyment of that home, this may be worth the price. Conclusion Adjustable rate mortgages fit situations where rates are generally low. A key element of the analysis before a borrower enters into an adjustable rate mortgage is to confirm all possible payments and costs so that the long-term experience is affordable. Thank you, and I hope you found this useful and helpful. And again, this is presented by Doug Bainbridge.